good everyone and welcome back to another video so i know i've been away for like almost a whole month you know three weeks without having posting or anything like that um the reason why is because i was trying to enjoy the holidays spend some time with my wife even though she may say otherwise <laughs> but um yeah that was the goal that's why i didn't post anything guys that's why i didn't make any videos but however today i do have a huge surprise for you guys at the end of the video so make sure you watch it all the way through okay it's not gonna be a long video so don't worry about it all right so first thing first happy new year hope you guys had a merry christmas hope you guys had a good holiday hopefully that stimulus helped you out a little bit and it certainly helped me out and um i just hope the best for everyone out there those that are going through tough times and those that are going you know normal times or even better times but with that being said guys you know I wanted to let you guys know that Project Scion is going to be getting an upgrade. No, I'm not getting the new car, but yes, I'm going to be doing more stuff to it. Come 2021, I'll be trying to save up all the money that I can to bring you guys way better content and more stuff to be excited about. And one of those things that you guys are going to be, be very excited about is about what's in this box. I don't know if you guys can guess it let me know however i'm gonna tell you guys in a little bit first things first so about the car what's going on with it so right now we are trying to finish up the bumpers as well and um if you guys want to see a video of otaki designs teaching me how to bondo you can go check it out on his channel i also make a little short video of it on this channel you guys will see it soon but um, yeah, he taught me how to bond those, so I'm getting into that stuff and I'll be able to do more stuff later on for you guys, bring more content, all right? Also, uh, needing to get a haircut. Apparently, Supercuts just doesn't have any time available at the moment. So I gotta deal with it. <laughs> anyway, so about the car. We're gonna finish up the bumpers front and back, hopefully get them painted soon. And um, I'm gonna bring you guys content of the other cars as well while we wait on things to happen because car parts don't come that easy. Some of them cost a lot of money and there's always another thing and another thing and another thing. So be patient. I'm gonna try and bring as much content as I can with what we have, all right? And another thing, I will also make another video on taking the interior parts of my car out and we're gonna be repainting them. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that if you have a Scion TC or maybe if you have a similar car with similar parts Maybe you can uh, get a grasp that how easy it is to do it. So we'll be doing that and then also I'm going to be Thinking and thinking we might do something with the headliner. We might get a trunk set up um, We're gonna adjust the right height So might be raising it a little bit might be dropping it who knows and then also the engine bay that I had painted red, I was bored at the time, so I kind of got to fix that. I'm going to go back to either black, something like that. And then also we're going to do something with the headlights. So um, be tuned for that. That's what's coming next in this um, channel. So stay tuned and bear with me. Now, what you guys been watching this video for and waiting on. Here's the big surprise that a lot of you guys probably already guessed it or maybe thinking about it but I've had this car for five years five years now since high school it's my high school car is my first car I ever owned in my name is the second car that I've driven uh, my first one was a BMW E30 series that was falling apart which is why my stepdad got rid of it and got me the Scion TC which I helped finish paying off later on in the future so that's been my very first first car so I'm taking things little by little to try and you know, get my foot in the door and learning about what I'm doing and going and growing, growing, growing along, you know, because I see cars as a piece of art. So that's how I treat it. So for me, it's not just, oh, man, I got to be the fastest one in the street, you know, no, a little bit of power is fine. And I like to make my car look good, you know, inside and out. That's the point of this channel. And that's the point of the reason why I'm trying to modify my car and build it to my style, my liking, and competing car shows because it's fun, you know. It's, it's mainly what it's being built for, it's for shows, you know. However, though, this was given to me by a friend and it's 
kind of forcing me into this route. It's very heavy. Oh boy. Well, I'm pretty sure y'all can now guess what it is by looking at the box. But um, this made me very, very excited. I know you guys are going to be excited to see this happen on the channel. Of course, uh, you know, little by little because I don't have the funds to do all of it at once. But little by little, you guys are going to see this and you, you never know. With the help of you guys, maybe we can get it done sooner than later. But here it is, guys. It's a simple T3, T4 hybrid uh, turbo. Specs online from the company say it's good up to um, 400 horsepower. My Scion is an automatic, unfortunately. So uh, be expecting around the 200s. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna push it that far. I don't have the funds to fully build, you know, a whole nother engine for it and transmission for it to be able to hold past 300. Um, so we're just gonna get a bolt-on kit. Uh, I'll probably try and get a different head and at least build that to sustain a little bit of power. And we, we're gonna shoot for 200s, you know. This car usually comes with 160 horsepower. Uh, that's not even to the wheels, so it's less to the wheels. So anything 200, 250 uh, will be just fine, you know. Again, it's for shows. I'm not building a race car. A little bit of power is okay. And with the Scion TC, I don't expect to go that far with it, but this should give it a nice little treat to the engine, if you guys agree. Anyway, here's another look at it, guys. Uh, let me take this off. So you guys can see, it's not that big of a turbo. It's pretty heavy, though. And you guys can see, it's not a name brand, so it's pretty much like a kind of an eBay type turbo. But yeah. So T3, T4, AR.50, M12, AR.63 in the bottom. Yeah, T3, T4. All right guys, so that's the big, big news. Like, I'm excited. This is huge, amazing news. And um, yeah, so now on to saving up getting all the parts together for this baby and then hopefully we can slap it on this year we'll see how it goes all right well thank you everyone thank you for watching um again stay tuned for the new videos to come out i will be putting them out i'm not done i just took a little break to enjoy some time off and um because i'm a college student as well and i also help edit videos for uh, andrew well autarky designs um channel and stuff like that so pretty busy pretty busy you know but i guess now it's time to focus on this channel as well you guys deserve it you know we're gonna go far we're gonna go far 2021 i'm bringing the best i hope you guys are having your best and i'll see you guys in the next video okay don't forget to subscribe hit the like button hit the bell so you don't miss any videos that are going to be coming out in the future and hey Turbo time for the TC. Alright? See you guys in the next one. Peace! No!